Today, I will review for you the 4 legendary weapons of the Colossus boss. Please follow my channel and send a thousand times of happiness to your loved ones. Hello everyone, I'm NDL. The 4 legendary weapons are Auto Cannon of the Colossus, Sea Lance of the Colossus, Decryptor of the Colossus, Core of the Colossus. You can obtain these weapons on the Ancient Ruins map. Firstly, let's talk about the Auto Cannon of the Colossus. When used for regular attacks, it shoots an arrow dealing light damage. When fully charged, it creates a halo above for 9 seconds, and regular attacks summon consecrated light. Next is the Sea Lance of the Colossus. Regular attacks involve continuous stabs at enemies, causing light damage and hitting 1 to 2 targets. When fully charged, it charges forward like a tornado, summoning light wherever it passes, causing a lot of light damage. Now, the Decryptor of the Colossus. Regular attacks involve wide slashes, potentially hitting multiple enemies. When fully charged, it creates a circle around it, dealing damage to all enemies nearby, including light damage. Lastly, the core of the Colossus. Regular attacks create a light sphere that rushes towards enemies, causing light damage. When fully charged, it summons a robot. The second charge summons another, but the third charge makes one disappear. These robots also deal light damage. When changing maps, two robots are lost, you can charge it again. Now, let's talk about the Colossus's exclusive fate bound is called the Spirit of the Zulan. It has the chance to summon a large area of consecrated light when you attack, whether it's a regular attack or a skill. This fate bound is useful for clearing monsters but is not as effective against bosses. Okay. After reading about the four orange weapons of the Colossus boss, which one is your favorite? Which orange weapon of the boss would you like to see in the next set? Leave a comment below. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you for your enthusiastic support. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.